guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're back here at Jaguar Land Rover St. Petersburg because guess what? I have one of the purest of all the sports cars. This is a 2019 last year for the C7 Corvette. This particular one is a 2019 Corvette Grand Sport. And the big news is we have a rare seven speed manual transmission. But before we get into this sports car, such an icon, let's talk about what's going on here the Corvette, the Chevrolet Corvette. It's been around since 1953, if you could believe that. All 300 examples that first year were white with red interior. The bad news is all of them were automatics and had a straight six, which they called the Blue Flame Six. It wasn't until 1955 when the Chevrolet Corvette grew up and got its V8. Since then, it's been a love affair with this sports car, but you know what? 2019 signifies the end of the front engine Corvette. As you all know, the 2020, 2021 Corvettes are all mid-engine from here on out. And another bad piece of the news puzzle is guess what? No more manual transmission. So what I want to do is I want to find out if you're looking for a sports car, especially with a manual transmission, is this 2019 or a 2019 Corvette like it? Is it the direction that you need to go to satisfy all those on throttle needs as you row through that slick shifting manual transmission? Let's go ahead, let's dive into this 2019 Grand Sport and find out. Right off the bat, like I said, the white really showcases the lines of this last generation of the front engine Corvette. When we start at the front of the business, the good news is going, Z06, uh, going Grand Sport is almost like going Z06 in many different ways. The reason why is you're getting the Z06 bodywork with some differences, and I'll point those out. Starting up at the front of the business, you'll notice this extra piece of flat black extension that's going to allow those wider wheels and tires to be tucked in away from the air, allow that nice flow. I really loved what they had done with the C7 Corvette with the shape of the headlight design, everything blacked out, LED headlights, LED turn signals, the whole nine yards and your daytime running lamp. We come across that low slung hood, cross flags. That is that emblem that's been on the Corvette since 1953. You got the checkered flag, you got the Chevy bow tie flag. This one has the actual chrome. You could have optioned a black badge instead of the chrome, but you know what? It gives it that classic look for sure. Working your way down, you have that carbon flash metallic material. It's not gloss black. It's like a metallic gray uh, feature that is unique to the Chevrolet products, especially on this Corvette. Lower lip spoiler is extended out. That's going to stop air from going underneath the vehicle. And like I said, this being a Grand Sport, this is the way I would go because you're getting that extra wide bodywork of the Z06 Corvette. Now, when we get up onto the hood, you'll notice the carbon flash metallic. That's that heat extractor going to drag hot air out. It's also there for aerodynamic efficiency. And with the white and that particular color, it pops so nicely. Now, when we come around the bend, you're going to see something unique that's to the Corvette Grand Sport. These particular wheels. This is a gloss black multi-spoke wheel. Up front, you're looking at a 19-inch wheel. They're wrapped in those Pilot Sport tires. Give you some grip. Give you some uh, durability and wear. You'll notice two-piece rotors. So when you go Grand Sport, you're going to get the aluminum hat, steel rotor that's slotted and fully ventilated, and massive bright red. Signifies that first year of the Corvette, the white with the red, six-piston calipers with the Corvette name, going to clamp down on those rotors and really give you nice, consistent braking capability, but also good pedal feel when you go do your track day. But the way that this car sits is absolutely spectacular. Now, as we go into the fender, one of the things that's part of that whole Corvette heritage and connection to the past is your side fender vent. Fully functional. When you go Grand Sport, this vent is specific to this vehicle. I like the way it's got the Grand Sport name with that carbon flash metallic, fully functional. And then as we slide down, you'll notice the great proportions of this vehicle. Down below, you're going to get that nice side sill extension, carbon flash metallic, of course, all the clean lines leading towards this rear air duct, which is also functional. That's another thing I love about Corvettes is that they're fully functional when it comes to their vents and all the other goodies. All C7s, remember when you go coupe, have that Targa removable roof. So this roof is removable. I like the way they blacked out the A pillar. Here's another Grand Sport touch, this rear vent here. So 
it's painted the same color as the body. If you look at a Z06, this would be carbon flash metallic. This is gonna feed air for that transaxle to help cool that transmission that's at the back of the vehicle to try to get that 50-50 weight distribution. When we're looking at the back, you're gonna get a wider wheel. So you're actually going, instead of 19 inch, you're going 20 inch in diameter and you're going 285 on the width. So you're getting a nice width. I love the way you still get that two-piece rotor with your four piston Brembos, even the way they put the Corvette name on the wheel, very, very classy. And then as we work out towards the back, just a really attractive hatch spoiler, because remember this whole hatch pops up on the C7 and that's gonna give you that nice downforce. You're gonna get functional venting on the corners. I love on the Grand Sport how the taillights are just left red instead of clear like on a Z06. And as we drop down, you're gonna get that GM Performance active exhaust make it louder, piss everybody off. Or you can make it quieter if you want to keep the peace, but I say, hey, just let her, let her, let her scream that V8 engine out of those quad pipes. But really low, very wide, and of course that Corvette badge in the center. But why don't we go ahead, looking at this Corvette is great, let's pop the hood and see what's powering it. All right guys, time to open up the hood. It's got that reverse opening hood that goes all the way back to 53. Your C8 Corvette can't do this. Pull it right up. And there it is, that wonderful push rod V8. So when it comes to performance and it comes to actual horsepower numbers, what are we looking at? Because remember, we're trying to say, is this the best for your money, pure sports car? So you're looking at a 376 cubic inch V8. That's a 6.2 liter push rod V8, 460 horsepower on the Grand Sport, 465 pound feet of torque, it is a side oiler engine, which is perfect for those track days so that there's no oil starvation of that power plant. And guess what? Like I said, we have that seven speed manual transmission, zero to 60. If you know how to dance on your twinkle toes, around 3.7 seconds, quarter mile is gonna zoom by at 11.9 seconds, top speed, 175 miles an hour. MPGs, not too shabby when it comes to sports cars. You're looking around, 15 in the city, and then of course, around 28 on the highway. But when it comes to this pure American sports car, one of the things I do have to do is zonk. I have to zonk this cover that they put covering up that intake plenum. It would be nice to showcase all of that great beauty where that airflow, but you can clearly see where your throttle body is, your alternator, all the goodies. That's what's great about these types of cars is you can see a lot because there's not a bunch of just regular plastic. But why don't we go ahead, let's fire this up and hear what the ground, Grand Sport sounds like. guys we're in this 2019 Corvette Grand Sport you know it really just shows that connection to the past that original 1963 Grand Sport race car that was built they just built a few of them to battle up against those 427 Cobras in the 60s but being a 2019 and the final year of a front engine Corvette having that manual transmission I know you're probably saying to yourself well Joe I've wanted a Corvette my whole life I had pictures all over my walls, I built models, I had my Corvette Hot Wheels. How much is this one? This one has 16,000 miles and has that manual transmission. You're looking at an asking price of $57,000. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. You could see the direction that Chevrolet was going. It's tasteful, does it look as great as a C8? No, but you're still gonna get nice material. The stitching is great, the Bose sound system. A little bit of silver on the door handle, but everything else is super clean. Tight spot though for any snacks. Maybe some Chips Ahoy cookies. You're not even gonna be able to get the milk in there, so you're gonna have to eat your cookies nice and dry. Now, as you go from the door panel to the dash, that same wonderful material, you do have dual climate for the passenger over here, which is nice. And then I liked how they did the divider. You know, the on the C8, it's a little too extreme, but this has a nice oh crap handle for your passenger. You got your eight inch infotainment system. And of course, you're gonna have that secret door. So there's our eight inch infotainment system with Apple CarPlay, with Android Auto. 
we hit that there's your little cubby hole it's got felt lining with a usb so you could put your iphone 47 gold edition in there and it's not going to get scratched and nobody even knows it's there nobody even knows it's out yet including me but going back to the screen nice touch screen easy to get through one two three you slide down you got your dual climate controls over here for the driver i love the grand sport badge that's an actual image of the original grand sport racers there was one convertible the red or should i say roadster and the rest were coupes you have that nice seven speed slick shifting short throw manual transmission great height on the shifter knob there absolutely perfection and then you're going to have a 12 volt which you're going to need for a radar detector in here two cup holders so you can put your milk in here but you're not eating or drinking in my corvette i like the silver you got a mode selector button semi soft i'm not even going to open this up because it, you're not you can't even get a twinkie in there you're going to bust cream everywhere and that's not going to be fun to clean up nice corvette key fob simple light it's got the corvette badge on it spin around there's your buttons and then the standard seats look great they got a good amount of bolstering up top not so much on the bottom but you know what i think for everyday use you're going to enjoy these seats a lot more than if they had the crazy amount of bolstering but why don't you come over to the business end because i got a flat bottom steering wheel and it's got the corvette flags on it so come on over all right guys business time behind the wheel i love the beautiful corvette script on the sill and i'm telling you these c7s are very easy to get out of i used to have a c4 much more difficult to get in and out of but still that great corvette history and connection to the past steering wheel perfect thickness i love the cross flag staring at you in the face if it was wavy it'd hit you right in the face with those flags but i like the silver finish flat bottom would have been nice to have a grand sport badge here so i am going to zonk that but one thing i'm not going to zonk is that instrumentation cluster you have a nice large digital display in the center the different drive modes everything else is analog which is fine the one thing that's kind of weird is there is an analog speedometer which is redundant because you have the digital speedometer but overall i'm ready to rock and roll let's check out one little area that maybe you're not thinking about when you're looking at a sports car and then other than that we are going on throttle all right guys one of the things you may not be even thinking about if you're looking for a sports car is usability and one thing that the corvette does especially the seventh generation brings you a lot of room even to match that performance the amount of performance so pop the back lifts right up that's almost like that hatchback sport back style but look at how much room that you have you can literally use this sports car not only as a track day weapon but also as a grocery store getter weapon as well and this might be the selling point for you that if you've been wanting a corvette or a sports car say hey i will get the groceries for the rest of my life if i get this car and you'll be able to do it in style but you know what if you're ready i'm definitely ready we got the keys we got a manual transmission let's go on throttle in this grand sport all right guys we left jaguar land rover clearwater we're in this 2019 corvette grand sport every time i get one of these it puts a big freaking smile on my face but what's even better is that on throttle so here we go on throttle The feeling of being in the last of the front engine Corvettes. You got that great automatic rev match downshift feature. If you want to use it, you could easily shut it off. And I'm telling you right now, I don't know what Chevrolet did, but these are louder. These are louder than the C8 Corvette. They really are. It's just something with the exhaust it just pulsates through your body i love looking out over that hood the peaked fenders give you great visual reference points steering wheel feels amazing and this seven speed is as slick as they come like a big old barrel of oil crude oil seats feel good i could use a little bit more bolstering on the bottom but depending on how you option your grand sport you could add more bolstered seats if you wanted to but these are really really comfy for those everyday uses plus is going to give you that flexibility to go do a track day go do an autocross event it's interesting because sitting in one of these you would think you're going to feel more cramped than a camaro but you don't the way it's laid out is super super smart i love the clutch actuation it's got a great pickup point 
Steering feels wonderful. And the sound, the sound, you feel like you're in one of those old Corvette race cars. One of the original Grand Sports from that sound. Hitting, going from second to third is really, really nice. Wow, this thing is unbelievable. this car yeah. unbelievable it goes through that digital speedometer so quick the power delivery is so linear torque delivery so linear with that naturally aspirated engine and what I love about the Grand Sport more than the Z06 it's usable horsepower 460 horsepower once upon a time used to be a ton now because we got everything with 600 700 800 horsepower you're like oh 460 horsepower that sucks not really most people this is really a sweet spot especially if you want something more manageable as you're doing your track days or your autocross events or, or just your regular daily driving. All right guys, second gear. Contra, here we go, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> wow, 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 wow. This thing really is a sweetheart. So balanced. The sound, the feeling, the sensation. The seven speed is such a slick shifting transmission. I think I just used so more analogies with the letter S than I ever have in any review. This is, it's just a special car. It really is. And the C8 is great, don't get me wrong. But if you're looking for a pre-owned or something, you know, more manageable, because we all know, yes, the price of a C8 is $60,000 new, but we all know dealerships are not selling them for that amount. They're adding on 15, 20, 30,000 if you could even find one, but if you're ready, I'm ready. Here we go. Oh, it's right. yeah. <laughs> awesome, awesome experience. Just so glad to share this with you. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm trying to be a little restrained here just to make sure I'm not attracting too much attention on myself. But I can't, I can't hold back, right? You can't. Contra, here we go. guys and I'm not watering this down one bit this is this is what being a true car enthusiast is about is sharing the on throttle experiences and all these special cars with you all right guys one more time on throttle get back to Jaguar Land Rover or Clearwater even though I don't want to I tell you man I'm gonna need a bigger garage because uh, all of these cars are just so amazing so freaking amazing and this is just a, a thing that's gone now front engine Corvette goodbye that's it yes the mid engines faster yes we know that but I don't know, there's just something about this car that just makes it extra special. 
But we're going to wrap it up. I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys. It's been another great day here at Jaguar Land Rover of St. Petersburg. I definitely want to thank Jeff, Miro, and the rest of the crew getting us this pristine C7 Corvette, that Grand Sport last year of the front engine Corvette forever, and a manual transmission. If you're looking to really watch that bottom line, but yet you want to have those on throttle experiences that you get to share with me on Rady's Rise, but you want to have them on your own time, this Corvette Grand Sport checks off so many boxes that you would have to be crazy to not take one for a spin if you're looking for that pure, true sports car feel and drive. But if you want to keep seeing cars like these on Rady's Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Rady's Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you and the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Rady's Rise merch. Click the second link, become a Rady's Rise Patreon member. Got to give it up to the best videographer in all the land, Lori, working that camera like a champ. She loves Corvettes. Show her some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.